Hey gang, how's it going? This is uh, Daniel Stern, the Code Whisperer here with a quick video for you. In this video, we're going to learn about turning JavaScript strings into numbers. All right, so let's take a JavaScript string that's a bunch of numbers. We'll just look at it. So this is, it looks like a number, but it's actually a string. And we can tell this because if we take it and we add it to another string, if we take it and add it to a different number, that is, it gives us this weird result. It's not the mathematical result of adding the two numbers. It's the result, it deals with them as though they were strings. So to add these together, we have to convert this first thing into a number. So let's save it as a variable. Now it would be cool if we could just say a.toNumber and turn into a number, but there is no toNumber method and I'll explain why. Basically, it's not really clear sometimes how a string should be converted to a number. For example, let's make a different string. So the string 12abc95, if you convert that to a number, should that be 1295 or should it be just 12 or should it be 95? There's not a hundred, there's not like a absolute clear answer to that question. So that's why there's not a to number method. But there are a few built-in methods that can deal with this. The first one is called parseInt. ParseInt will take a string and it'll return a number. It'll just go through each character and stop at the first thing that's not a number. So let's try it on our variable. And we get an actual number. So if we say parseInt a plus 523, we get a mathematical result. Cool. Let's try parsing our second example. So it just returns 12, and that's our first key. Parse in stops at the first thing that is not a number. Now let's take another example. I'll make another variable, and I'll make it equal to 155.12. Now this is also a number, but it's a different kind of number. It's a number with a decimal. If we call parse int on it, it just returns 155. That's kind of weird, but it makes sense because parse int stops on the first thing that's not a number. There's another function called parse float. And if we pass it our variable c, it returns the whole thing because it stops on the first decimal. Let's make another thing with two decimals. And now if we try and parse float it, note how it stopped at the second decimal. So that's kind of the key to it. You got your two things, parse float and parse int. And with them, you can take any string and quickly convert it to a number. Remember these tricky rules of converting strings to numbers and note that there is no one way to do so. I've been the Code Whisperer. Have a Cody day and keep on coding.